organized with the aim of encouraging participants to develop requisite skills in school business. The Lagos State Chapter of the National Association of Proprietors of Private School organized a three-day retreat for members of the association. The theme for this year's event is Collaboration, Strategic Approach Towards Creating Multiple Stream of Income. The toast of this program is in our ability to bring some governmental agencies together as panelists in an open discussion with all the stakeholders. These are agencies that are relevant with our kind of business. President of the association, Mr. Wasiu Adumadei, spoke on the idea behind the theme. We came here in order to improve the overall quality of education in Lagos State and also to improve the welfare and protect the interests of our members. The retreat program and book fair we are experiencing today, uh, this has become an annual program. We, are, we bring our members together to brainstorm and to also get to know about new ideas and new methodologies and strategies by which they can use to improve their schools and improve the quality of education. In, Lagos State. in their goodwill messages, guest speakers shared their views on new ways to improve school administration, such as the benefits of saving, purchasing the right resources and materials, and the need to be unique and not follow the crowd. There are factors that make a successful multiple stream of income possible. There are factors that make diversification possible. The first question I will ask you is, are you ready for diversification? Before we start thinking of diversification, our first stream, which is what God committed into our hand, go around in school. How well are we doing it? The discussion segment had panelists deliberating on various issues of mutual interest with ideas shared on how to make more income. Considering the fact that we are training leaders of tomorrow, what we have done today will surely bring about very good standard in our various schools. And with this, we'll be able to contribute our own quota to the development of education in general. We have challenges in every society. And in as much as we are trying to find solutions to such challenges, that will bring about what we call diversification that is bringing ways of uh, satisfying the challenges we are having in our society. The side attraction includes a book fair and a visit to the Slave Museum in Badagri.
The second day of the retreat was also educating as participants were divided into groups where they interacted with one another and then presented their group discussions on how to prepare a budget, continuous research into development in the area of business and venturing into adult education services. You don't become big, successful accidentally. You must plan it. You must be intentional. You must be purposeful. You must know exactly why you are where you are and what you want to get where you are. The real power of effective leadership is maximizing other people's potential. Everyone who works with you and work along with you, you must ensure that you maximize their potential. And that's what makes you a success. And that's what makes you an effective leader. You are not an effective leader because you are always the one that is always there. And you are the only one that is always reasoning out things for people. No! Participants were also encouraged to pay attention to their health. They commended the organizers while restating their commitment to put in their best to realize positive results. It will help us to grow by collaboration. The, it will expand the scope of our schools in terms of business-wise. I think by coming here is not a waste. The yearly retreat is usually organized at the end of every academic session to create opportunity and refresh members on the latest happenings in the education industry.